Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. Today we are here with the Unicore Swing Optics camera system. So this is the all new premium swing motion camera set offered by Unicore that has a higher frame rate, higher resolution than what anybody's seen offered by the company. So uh, let me take you through really quick a few things that are offered. Uh, the, the key thing to understand when you're talking about swing cameras, uh, there's some main factors. So here you can see the resolution is up to 1440 by 1080p. And then you'll look at the frame rate is up to 160 frames a second. So the key thing for people to understand is, is that there'll be cameras out there sometimes that are advertised and it will say 1080p, you know, 240 frames a second, let's say. And that's how it'll be advertised in a title. Well, the problem is, is that in order to get to 240 frames a second, it might only be capable at like 360p, which is a very low resolution. So it'd be very pixelated, uh, not a clear picture. Um, or it might only work in black and white, uh, for instance. You know, there's, there's various things that can happen there. Or it could be the flip. It could be that you could actually have 1080p, but in order to get 1080p, then you have a very low frame rate. Let's say it's 30 frames a second at 1080p. And then what you're gonna get is, is a bunch of club blur, hand blur and everything and not be able to get a clear picture. So the real balance is to have a nice resolution like 1080p, which most of us are used to, used to that's standard HD, okay? What you'll see on, uh, you know, most TVs are kind of creeping towards 4K and, and, you know, things along those lines, but a lot of like cable is still coming out at 1080p. Um, you know, most laptops are still 1080p um, unless you get a 4K screen. Um, so everybody kind of understands what 1080p is gonna look like. Now the key there is, is the 160 frames per second. That is going to be with the proper light, and I'll explain the next settings here in a minute, um, or, the, or the hardware capabilities, is that that's going to allow you to get a slow motion video without having hand or club blur, um, and be able to stop that video, draw lines, and not, not be able to see the club, for instance, okay? So in order to accomplish all of that, uh, it is key to have good aperture. The lower the number, the more light it lets in on the sensor. It's kind of like the, you know, it's almost like a little hole, you know, that lets light in on the sensor. That's what aperture is, and that's part of the lens, okay? So the aperture on this is 1.2, which is really good, all right? And then they have a focal length of 2.5 millimeters. That's another key factor, because depending on your space, you don't want to have to have a camera you know, 15 feet away in order to get the whole golfer in the picture. So you have to have that proper wide angle lens, which 2.5 millimeters is really great. It's going to allow me, you know, only being about seven to eight feet behind the ball, depending on where the ball is, to have my camera right against the wall there. And then same thing over here, I'm in a 15 foot wide space, no problem, I can have a camera right over there uh, just off the wall and have the whole golfer in the picture and uh, not have to worry about space. So that kind of gives you guys got kind of a breakdown of everything. It's a USB 3 system which is that more high speed USB system. So you would have to make sure that your laptop has USB ports available. Uh, mine, for instance, has a Thunderbolt port, which is really nice. And then with that Thunderbolt port, I actually have a, uh, it's a, uh, you know, a module that plugs in and it actually is like a, a bank of ports of USB 3, it has HDMI out, um, you know, and that allows me to have more USB 3 ports if depending on what I'm using. I could have other things connected, you know, so there's some options for that. So make sure you have USB 3, that allows for that more megabytes per second that the camera is going to demand, okay? And then the last thing here is uh, it's tripod compatible for a quarter inch, which is really nice. So you can get standard tripods like the mini tripod I'm using here for this, this phone uh, to be mounted on. And that quarter inch screw that you see on the most, uh, you know, the bottom of, you know, DSLRs and video cameras and things on those lines, that's standard screw. So it's going to be really easy to grab yourself a couple little tripods, okay? Um, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Obviously, it's going to come with the uh, cables that are necessary, and I'll show you those. Let's just go ahead and unbox the system really quick, okay? open it up here uh, comes with this is like velcro okay to velcro down the tripod so you don't have to have wires dangling all over the place all right and then here are your cables all in one package and then you can see it's a standard usb 3 port on one end and then the usb 3 uh you know uh, side for the camera okay the camera plug-in then you're going to have the two cameras Okay, very small form factor. I'll bring these up to the camera there in just a second. And then inside of here, you should have your lens, one lens, two lens, and then this would be your accessories. 
Accessories would be the little quarter inch tripod mount, okay, and the little screws that you're gonna put on. So you take the little screws, you put the little quarter inch uh, plate on the bottom if you're gonna be mounting them with that. So let's go ahead and unbox or unpackage here one of these. There we go. See if it has a cap on right now. So I'm gonna come closer to the camera. Let me go ahead and get a lens out as well. These have a nice big sensor on them, which is really nice. The sensor is key. That's gonna allow for that quality and light. All right, let's go ahead and bring this up. See how close I can get it really quick. So there you go. There's the back side of the camera, front side of the camera, okay? Let me unscrew the top here. There is the sensor, okay, of the camera right there. That's what you're gonna screw on. Sensor size is, is, is really important um, if you know anything about cameras, and that's a nice, nice big sensor there. All right, and then let's see if we can take these sides off. So here you go. Three megapixel, 2.5 millimeter, IR1, 1.2. All right, there you go. There's your lens that's gonna screw on. And I can show you guys the other side re really quick here. Get this cap off. There's the side that's gonna screw on to face the sensor. All right. And that's kind of it in a nutshell. I mean, it's a pretty simple system. Um, from there, we're gonna run our wires. We're going to get the cameras aligned properly. Um, we'll get the software up and running. And we'll hit some swings here and show you guys how it works. All right, so see it in action. So let's go ahead and get these things fired up and show you what it looks like, all right? All right, guys, welcome back inside the GSV studio. A little different look for the camera I usually use because I'm fully connected to the swing optic system. So I figured why would I set up another camera because I already have two swing cameras I can just use. Uh, so we're doing that um, and I'll what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down, I'll hit a shot and then I'll show you guys the swing optic system. And I'm actually gonna show you a little more of a preview because we're connected to the IXO inside of the refined software. So I'm gonna show you guys that non marked ball technology, how it reads the dimple. All right, so we'll show the swing path as well, and we'll show that ball moving, and I'm going to show you how it reads the dimples, okay? It actually uh, has a zoomed-in picture of the ball with these little colored dots. It's really cool, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, now, on that subject, I know a lot of people have been asking to see more and more of the IXO. Uh, I'm actually working with Unicor on some updates on the View software, so once all that gets released and done, I'll do an in-depth video of all that for you guys. Um, I know I did the first look video. It showed you the unboxing. It showed you some examples. We'll do a full video coming up after those updates are released and it's ready to go. All right, so, but for now, we're inside of Refine. You guys are gonna be able to see me hit. I have a 58 degree wedge today. Um, I figured why not use a high spinning club um, and we're gonna show you all of the capabilities and the quality of the Swing Optics uh, premium camera system that is offered by Unicor. So let's go ahead and we'll just take this down for now. I really do like, you know, let's, before I take that down, notice I'm on this mirror mode. I love this mirror mode because it's a live mode. So if you were working on setup and you wanted to just use it as a mirror, now look at, I can see behind me, let's say I was working on standing up taller or getting down lower. Let's say I was working on an arm, okay? Let's say I was working on tilt. All that with the mirror is really, really nice to have, all right? Look at my feet. Let's say I was working on, you know, make sure, here's the key. Now you guys do need to understand this. I've had these set up now for a very short period of time. I just got them all hooked up. I kind of tuned in the focus a little bit. I kind of tuned in the color a little bit. Uh, if you saw my first look video, I kind of had some pulsing with some lighting. Um, I'm pretty good with all that stuff. I understand how to match refresh rates and everything. So you'll see now that I have everything perfectly, you know, uh, you know, solid color, no, no flashing lights. Cause that's what happens. You have a refresh rate of lights, refresh rate of camera. If those don't match, then you're going to get some flashing. Okay. So if you guys need help with that type of stuff, feel free to email me as always. Um, you know, that's the benefit of subscribing to the channel. That's what I tell everybody. Hey, subscribe to the channel. You learn about new things um, because I'm always learning about new things too. So, and I like to share all that with you guys. So let's go ahead and hit a shot so we can get going here. All right. I'm just going to close this out real quick. All right. Take down that. And I'm going to set up. So I'm, I haven't showed much of this approach range, which I really like. So... I'm gonna set it to 90 yards. 
okay? That way I don't have to like swing after a sand wedge. All right, so there we go. But I really like the, you know, you're going for a green here. I can see the flag down there. Um, I don't, I probably don't use this facility enough, this little approach facility. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and try to fire one down there. Oh, man, not bad. A little inside out and closed. You know, you can see how inside out and closed I was there. But uh, I got my spin up to 10,000 on my 58. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the swing to see what that looks like. So we're going to bring that swing back up. All right. Let me pull the review up. There it is. I have this in point two. Okay. So that is point two of the full speed. You can change that really easily if you wanted to watch it in full speed. All right. Obviously, slow motion is the best. All right. So let's go ahead because it almost looks like the full speed is like almost a little faster, um, you know, to catch up with the frame rate and everything, I'm sure. So in point two, I'm looking for club blur and I'm looking for hand blur. And I'll be honest, I mean, we can go right into that downswing. And look at that. I can see the club the whole way, especially on the rear facing camera. It looks like it has a little bend to it. Isn't that wild? And I can see it on the forward facing camera, maybe a tiny bit of blur, but I mean, you can make that out. Let's say that you were trying to draw a line. You could easily, very easily draw a line on that club, um, you know, and get it, get a feel for it. So that's not hard at all. Uh, so let's show some different tools here. Okay. Let's get back to the beginning of our shot. The angle tool is one that I think is very interesting. Now, as always, guys, you know I'm not a PGA professional, um, so I'm not giving any advice here. But let's say we're working on that angle, and you know a professional knows what angle you need to be. Um, let's say you're working on it because you know where you need to be. It gives you the angle by drawing right down those two lines, and I did. And then you can play with that angle if you want. All right, I think that's a cool tool. I think it really is. So we can clear that out. All right, and then we can go back. Let's say you were working on, I mean, this is something that I think a lot of people always try to do is try to uh, stay steady. And so they could just circle their head just like this. And then they could go ahead and hit play in slow motion, see if their head's moving at all. Obviously, the videos being synced up is very cool. And that's what's nice when you buy a system like this. I mean, it's all tuned, you know. I mean, everything is, is set uh, for this software. Um, so I'd have to say that's a benefit. Now, here's something that I thought was cool. I have a touch screen. All right. I, and a lot of people have asked what kind of computer I use. I use an Acer Predator Triton 900. It's a, uh, almost like a desktop laptop, if you will. Um, but it has a, a 4k touch screen. So if I use this pencil tool and I want to draw, let's say I was like going to outline a body or something, I can just go right on my screen with my finger. If I had a stylus would be better. All right. And I could draw, I could also write something so i could write you know 58 you know wedge whatever i mean you know you get you get with a whole point of that so i mean you can free draw on the screen i could really see instructors you know using that um you know because you could just take notes you could do all kinds of things and why would you take notes well because look up in the upper right right here see where my cursor is you can save the video all right i just think that's awesome I think that's really, really cool. Um, up here in the menu, if you open that up, that's the settings for your camera. Okay. Um, that's where you're going to do all of the, uh, you know, the lighting and everything, and you can kind of adjust it. I've only, I only took, man, I probably took five minutes to kind of focus things in and just kind of see what the best lighting was for myself. Um, and you have to work on your own environment. So I like my environment the way it is. I like the dark background and I like lighting up the subject. Okay. If you really wanted some contrast, you could either wear dark clothes with a light background, or if you have a dark background like myself, I could be wearing light clothes, but you'll notice I have this so well lit. It's not even necessary. You know, let's do one more play in slow motion here. I mean, I can see every aspect of my upper and lower body. No problem. Um, very cool. I mean, I'm, I have to say I am impressed. I am definitely impressed. Um, let's go ahead and close this out because I want to show you guys, I don't want to drag the video on and I want to show you guys this amazing spin technology 
Let's go ahead and pull up the club replay. All right. Let's, we can slow that down. There's my club. Now right at impact, if we pause that, take a look at the ball on the right. Okay. That's going to show dots and it's going to show circles and it's going to show squares. They're all reading. Let's get this right here. Watch that ball spin. Look at look how you can read the title list on the ball. You can I mean you can see where it says Pro V1 right there on the side. Look at that. So you have all these different color dots. What I've noticed so far is I've noticed that the color dots are reading something all individual. So you have the red square, the yellow dots. I think those are all reading dimples. And then those uh, kind of turquoise uh, squares are reading any objects on the ball, like the title is symbol. Okay. And that shows you how they're reading the ball with no markings on it. I mean, that's really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Uh, like I said, the main purpose of this video was to show you guys this right here. And that was the swing optics camera system that's offered by Unicor. Uh, this is honestly a first look video. I haven't even, uh, used it. I mean, this is uh, you guys kind of seeing it with me for the first time. And now I'm going to dive into it and I'm going to learn as much as I can about it so I can share more information with you guys. I'll share any setup tips. You guys can email me and reach out anything that uh, that you may need. I always like helping if I can. Um, and if it's necessary to reach out to support, I'll always push you towards support because that obviously is the best option for technical, you know, support in that matter. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching as always. If you guys are interested in a Unicor system, um, I have some awesome partners I can refer you to. Uh, you know, shoot me an email. I always put it at the top of the comments below. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.